Hey, this is Tico Giuliani of Rockin' the Nations, and we just wanted to come to you straight forward and get a little close with you. And, and thank you. <laughs> just wanted to thank you. Yeah, we just wanted to thank you and let you know we thank you so much for being on the Facebook with us and just riding it out. We just wanted to let you know, come closer, please. Hello, sir. We just want you to know that we thank it, thank it, thank it. Thank all that you spank it. No, we just, want, we just wanted to tell you thank you very much, but we need more comments. You guys need to leave more comments on the po uh, on the pictures. Our sponsors and everything are looking for good ratings, okay? We're about to take over. We're MTV. Beep. Oh. <laughs> well, they messed up and left us, and they didn't play any more song video, okay? And if you're interested in doing some modeling, reality modeling, right? This might help if I turned it on. Yeah. <clears throat> so you may get peeped. Oh, yeah. Triple Extreme Vision Radio's got a new page on Facebook, and it's called You've Been Peeped. <laughs> I've been stalking your ass. Oh, boy. Uh, I go in there. I really do. I go in looking for these pictures for these girls, and I try to bring them on because that's what we're about. We're about promoting the hot, reputable things of South Florida, the sun, the fun, the beaches, the clubs, the local people, restaurants, rich boys, place. rich boys, rich toys, uh, Del Rey. Right, exactly, okay, now MMAs. listen, listen, we've been doing a lot with the MMAs right now, and we have on board, and we jumped on their boat too, Elite Promotions, Jeff Gibson. We jumped on board also with Bruce Thomas. With Alpha Dog Bites. And now we are coupled up with American Top Team MMA Fighters. And Vince Warner. That is Vince Warner. You're right. And now we want to give a shout out to Susie Montero. She's about ready to go. De I think she's going to defend her title. Or I believe so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly, but Susie's going to start coming on with us, too, and Vince Warner's whole team. All right? And if you see this Italian-looking guy always kind of, like, getting into our stuff while we're on Facebook, that would be... Vince Warner. No, Dave. Did you see oh, any? Dave. <laughs> What's up, Dave? Dave is the one that loves to call. He's our executive producer. Exactly. Dave likes to call, and he likes to kind of tell us that his Facebook page is blowing up for what we're doing. I don't have any problem with that. Do you? Absolutely not. I love Dave. He's and what a about? Worker. He's enthusiastic, and he's fun to be around. He's got great ideas, and I'm glad he's come aboard. Exactly. You know, now we can talk about Stacy Stalo. Oh, she's awesome. Stacy is also, I believe, you know what? If you look at her picture, Stacy is actually, a, as I think, is a world champ, too. Let me tell you something. I just was in her photos uh, earlier this evening. That girl trains very hard. Very hard. They got training photos in there right now. <laughs> Woo! Hmm. Mm, I wonder what else she trains on. She's a hot Italian from up she north. Is. Yeah, she, I, you know, I thought she was Puerto Rican, though. But Pedro Alfonso Hernandez is from the answer. You know, back off. Oh, that's right. Pedro, we give a shout out to you. We love you. We salute you, brother. Pedro did an awesome fight. He was defending his title, wasn't he, that night? Yes, and he, and he did a well, good, very good job. But we also want to say we salute you also, his opponent. I yes, forgot his okay. name. Um, I didn't talk to him too much. He was a great fighter. Yeah, oh, that dude was fast getting up and stuff. Those guys were like equally matched. They really were. They were good. Okay, let's talk real quick to Bruce Thomas. Bruce, we want to thank you so much. First, we had when the beginning of our journey and opening with the MMAs was Jeff Gibson with Elite Promotions. That's right. Then we started to talk to Bruce Thomas. And we started to talk to Bruce, and Bruce even invited us out last night. Bruce was sorry that we didn't go. We were kind of busy in the studio. Well, I was a little tired. I had to get up on, uh, I had to get some sleep, well-caught-up sleep. 
Tico is relentless. He's a workaholic, and this is his dream, so he works very, very hard, and it's sometimes very hard for me to keep up. It's okay. You can ride on my coattail, baby, any day. Hey, I heard you had a brute you fly on. It's a two-seater. You can jump on any time you want. <laughs> okay. Turbo mode. Listen, Bruce Thomas, thank you for inviting us. Bruce Thomas is having a fight coming up, which he had asked us to please come on and do some promoting there. And that is? The Rumble at the Rum Bar. It's on <laughs> August 25th, and I can't wait. Right. Thank you, Bruce. That's going to be overlooking the water up there in North Palm. Um, Jeremy Loper and Randy Razor from the, the Buzz, Buzz 103.1 is going to be there. Big fan. Hey, yeah. Well, you know what? Okay. I'm not... You, I'm I was, a big fan. I was... No, I love... I mean, I love them, but Jeremy has been kind of being like... Um, he's a busy guy. Give him a break. Man, he's the same type of dude I am, a friggin'... Uh, well, I'm a New Yorker now. Yeah, but you demand attention, and you yeah, are straight, very um, uh, self-gratification, instant self-gratification. And if somebody doesn't respond in the manner in which you think they should, you get all bent out of shape. Calm down. You'll see him then. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got to get it. What? Give me my pen. Give oh, me my pen. Me. This is something that our little mascot, Savannah, gave us. We love it. Actually gave me. Now, listen to this. She just told me to calm down. Now, now she wasn't just making this shit up. Listen to this. Look at this dude. Pull him back a little bit. There you go. Can you see him? No, there you go. That looks like me when I'm on the show and I can't get things my way. Look, 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 look at the face. <laughs> okay. Again, we just want to thank you guys very much on Facebook. I want to thank you guys from the MMA Fights. Thank you guys today from Music Center. Yes. West Palm Beach. Guys were great with us. Um, also, Guitar Center. Great place. Looks like a city. Of instruments. I really enjoyed myself there. No, it's it, it's great. Um, you know, I just need to get a little price break if I'm going to promote for you. I mean, I'm ask, asking too much. Actually, we're working right now through the mixer that Guitar Center sold us. Love Sounds, it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you very much. You. Things are good. Okay, we're going to go and do a show right now. we got a lot more to tell you about, but if you guys, if you've been peeped, that means we're trying to recruit you to it's either... To recruit you either to use your photos, and then we'll tell you a little bit of the kind of photos that we want you to do. You can do this thing any way you want to. That's what's cool about reality modeling. That's what we do is reality modeling, and that is if you can't be a model in a traditional fashion way. But reality modeling is so much better. There's so much more freedom in it. People can do, you know, what they want. Exactly. And we can see you in real life. And that's, the things that you do in your life. That's the whole thing about it. Reality modeling is if you're attractive and you turn heads. You don't have to be five foot seven. Look, you could be like Randy Zucker. You could be like four two. Don't leave Randy Zucker alone, sweetheart. We're gonna see her soon. That's cool. Look, you can be five foot, and if you're attractive and you got a butt like J Lo, we'll pick you. I'm not going to go there, but look, if you're attractive and you turn heads, listen to me. Guys are not interested in fashion models. We like the girl next door. Right, the girl. The real